So as you can see right off the bat here, the Inferno Warden just melts the Nature Born. Untargetable on the Battle Boxer when injured, but it's okay. Our Inferno Warden just deletes everything in her path. Good luck. Alright, so let's go. We are just melting with Inferno Warden like usual. I'm really hoping we can clutch up here. Okay, Ice Wizard really goes is kind of going in right now. Can we actually beat the World Ghost here? What is up guys? We have a brand new video today for you guys. We have unlocked the brand new Inferno Warden and we are pairing her up today with the Grand Warden. Uh, this deck has been created by our good friend Waterfail and honestly, I've been trying it out and it's really good. So without further ado, let's get right into the deck video. Alrighty, for round number one, we are facing a nature board. And as you can see, we have a brand new board. We got the Misty Forest board. We just unlocked it and I'm loving it. It is such a nice board. So, for round number one, I'm honestly going to start off with Diffuser and a Lumberjack. I think those two are a great starting pick because we are building up Elixir to upgrade our Infernal Warden. She's going to go absolutely crazy this game, and honestly, I'm so excited to see her in action. I mean, I've seen her in action, but you guys, I'm so excited to show you guys. It's just so good. So, his Nature Warden might honestly end up taking that for, for him. That's honestly totally fine. So, he goes ahead and takes that round number one. That's fine with me. Um, we're gonna head into round number two here. So I'm gonna slap down a wizard Potentially over here And then I'm gonna put down our Inferno wizard right down or sorry warden my bad She could be called Inferno wizard though on a safe can't lie So I'm gonna give her the passive upgrade and then we're just gonna ready up just with that so as you can see right off the bat here, the Inferno warden just melts the nature born. Is it gonna be enough though? I'm hoping it is because this is actually gonna be a little worried now. It's not gonna be enough for us, but it's okay. We're gonna come back here, don't worry. Don't worry. This deck, it's a sleeper. It's a sleeper deck, don't worry. I'm gonna put a wizard in the corner. I'm gonna upgrade our Grand Warden to Rage and Unstoppable when enemies are shielded. And then I'm gonna go with super last six seconds on the Inferno Warden. And I'm just gonna, you know what? Put our Grand Warden maybe over here, yeah. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, Inferno Warden's gonna go off here. You're gonna see it. Nature Born's just absolutely broken. I mean, sorry, I'm absolutely gonna get melted. All right, as you can see, the Inferno Warden just melted the Nature Born in two seconds. That is insane. Oh my goodness. Grand Warden shields up again, and then we're just gonna take that round like nothing. Let's see if we can actually keep the momentum going now for the rest of the game. It's gonna be insane. What I'm gonna do is three star the Inferno Warden, put down our good old Ice Wizard down. And then we're going to give shields to both the Inferno Warden and the Wizard. Oh, he's got a Battle Boxer. Okay, let's see if we can melt that Battle Boxer ASAP. Inferno Warden's just heating up here. Inferno Warden just goes off, takes out the Battle Boxer, has been done, and then Nature Ward goes down too. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Oh my goodness, look at Inferno Warden just going crazy, and that's it. We just take the round like that? Oh, that was way too quick. Oh my goodness, this deck is so strong. I think I'm gonna upgrade our wizard, classical wizard, change to super slow on our ice wizard, and then we're gonna go with a rage potion and we're gonna drop a oh, good luck. That's not part of the strap, but that's good sportsmanship. All right, let's go. Let's see if this takes it for us. All right, he's going for that uh, untargetable on the battle boxer when injured, but it's okay. Inferno Warden just deletes everything in her path. Look at that, guys. This is just absolutely insane. Just so strong. And then she's just going again and then just melting everything. And that I think that's just GG's. Battle Boxer stands no chance. Boom. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was a great first game. Let's roll the next one. All right. Hopping into game number two here. We are facing a royal champion. And this is going to be an interesting matchup today. So, you know what? I'm going to sell the wizard. And I don't think I'm going to put the Inferno Warden down yet. We want to build Elixir. So, you know what? I'm going to go with Wizard in the corner and then Ice Wizard down there. And then we're just going to ready up. We did not get our Elixir Synergy on first round, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. I think we should still be able to take this round just from sheer minis. He only has his Royal Champion down, but he did actually upgrade her, which is fine with us. So, we're just going to go ahead and take round number one. Just easy sweep, speed run round. And then let's see if we get our Elixir Synergy for round number two. So... All right, putting down our minis here. Ooh, Inferno Warden, okay. Ooh, and then we get our Grand Warden. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade Warden. And it's not gonna be nice, but 
you know what, we can't skip past our hero upgrade. So, I'm just gonna put down our Lumberjack front tile. That's gonna ensure that, um, or one one from the front tile. That's gonna ensure that our Inferno Warden gets the rage benefits if we do, in fact, choose to upgrade him to cl his clash. All right, so Grand Warden shields up everyone. No one gets stunned from that because of Unstoppable and Rage, but I think Royal Champion's gonna take this round fair and square. Very strong, that's okay. So then we gotta get our Elixir Synergy up for this round. I'm gonna put down Diffuser all the way up front. And then potentially, you know what? I'm gonna give plus 10 HP to Diffuser. And then we're gonna put down our Inferno Warden and see what she can do for us here. Ooh, a Prince, okay, that's interesting. No worries though, no worries. All right, so Diffuser goes down instantly. So Inferno Warden uses Super, melting everything in her path, and then see if this is enough to take out the Royal Champion. Oh no, Ice Wizard was just not finding his pathing there. That is okay. We have to really come back though this round. This is getting a little scary. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go straight up passive on the Inferno Warden. Do we just go for, hmm, it's kind of risky. You know what? We're just going for two star Inferno Ward and see if this works out for us. Okay, so he's playing a Hog Rider. That's gonna stun us for quite a bit, but he didn't upgrade the Hog. So that's okay. Inferno Warden goes off with her super, melting a lot, but I don't think it actually is gonna be enough for now. And then we are actually gonna take an L there. That is okay with me. Oh my goodness. She's not invincible, but that was that was a good match. Alrighty, heading into game number three here. So we are facing Rain. And oh my goodness, I would not I would be lying if I didn't say that that elixir tile looks really tempting with the warden. I think I'm gonna do it. You know, ah, is that bad? I yeah. I'm just gonna do it, because honestly, I haven't been pushing seriously lately. So I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do it. I think we're gonna bank a lot with that. Oh, okay, Royal Ghost, yay. So, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, you probably have, but Royal Ghost is just dumb broken right now. Like, it is not fair at all. Um, like, people love to pair him up with the Ranger Synergy because every uh, mini gets plus, I think, it's, I think it's plus 40 attack damage, or uh, attack speed. So, he benefits from that, and then he just spends the whole round invisible, so it is so OP. But anyway, heading into round number two here, I think we can actually counter the Royal Ghost, at least I hope so. We're gonna go with passive, gain full energy on the Inferno Warden, because I just want her to instantly melt the RG, if that's possible. I know he's gonna go invisible ASAP, but hopefully we can do something with this here. So, gonna continue to melt, but it's not enough. I gotta upgrade her to a longer super. That's okay though. Ice Wizard slows down SK. I think Inferno Warden's about, right about to get her super again, and then boom! Can she clutch it for us? Oh, she takes out SK. Can she take out Royal Ghost though? Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Thank God. Okay, it's just it's just a one-star Royal Ghost. So we do take that round. I think we really have to invest in the in the uh, Infernal Warden though. We put down regular Wizard, and then we're gonna go with Unstoppable and Rage on the Grand Warden, and then I'm going to go with. Everyone gains an extra eight shield because we can bank elixir with that wizard in that spot. That's a great spot for the tile. I can't lie. Okay, interesting. He's got a dagger thrower in the back, but yeah, see, he's going for the ranger synergy. That's fine with me. So, as you can see, um, our warden's severely displaced right now, but it's not that bad. Um, Infernal warden just melts again. Look at the infernal warden. She's so good. That's just round number three in the bag. All right, we really have to like get her stuff together here. So I think we're just gonna go three star Inferno Warden because this video is all about her. She's literally gonna carry this round. Oh my goodness. She's actually gonna carry this round. All right. Oh, three star ghost. Okay, so let's see if we actually can survive this. So round number four here, Inferno Warden just gets two KOs off the bat. She's going insane, just forcing an, a res already on the SK, but Royal Ghost is just so OP. Is this gonna actually be enough? No, Royal Ghost. We're definitely in a meta emergency right now. I love that. So I know the Nature Warden deck counters Royal Ghost, but uh, okay. I'm going for a super slow. I'm going for everything in the tank here. Can we please sell Diffuser? I hope we can after every roll again. Um, you know it's splash damage. Yes, sell Diffuser. I know we're left with so much Elixir, but it's 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 all right with me. Drop a Rage Potion, and then hopefully this is enough. I know we're left with four, but I don't know how else to counter Royal Ghost right here. So, with this deck. So, here we go. Good luck. Alright, so... 
Let's go. We are just melting with Inferno Warden like usual. I'm really hoping we can clutch up here. Okay, Ice Wizard really goes is kind of going in right now. Can we actually beat the World Ghost here? Is this possible? Oh, <gasps> we beat it! Oh, let's go! Let's go! The deck is enough. Okay, that is GG's. Wow, what a great game! Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Ah. Uh, so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching today. The Inferno Warden is so much fun to play with, and it's such an OP deck. You guys should try this deck if you get the Inferno Warden. Um, if you don't have the Inferno Warden, I recommend subbing in, honestly, just going straight Electro Wizard and charging both your other wizards. Um, that's my recommendation. Oh my gosh, my iPad just almost fell into frame there. But anyways, have a great day. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe as usual, and uh, take care.